After months of silence, a stunning development has just emerged from the world of Chinese aerospace innovation. The first ever frontal view of the highly secretive J-36 6th generation stealth fighter has surfaced online, instantly drawing global attention. This new image, which reveals a twin-seat, side-by-side cockpit configuration, offers more than just a look at its shape. It confirms key design philosophies, operational roles, and China's evolving doctrine for future air dominance. This video breaks down expert observations, strategic implications, and why the J-36 may be the cornerstone of a very different kind of air warfare. The newly surfaced image is the first of its kind, a clear front-facing view of the J-36. Analysts quickly pointed out the side-by-side -side seating arrangement, a rare configuration in fighter jets, especially among stealth platforms. This two-pilot layout isn't just about shared workload, it signals a fundamental shift in mission scope. From this angle, it's also evident that the aircraft has a broad fuselage, likely housing advanced avionics, powerful radar systems, and a highly integrated cockpit interface. The airframe appears optimized for low observability, with smoothly blended lines, an elevated canopy, and stealth-focused engine inlets. After a long silence, the reappearance of the J-36 is both symbolic and strategic. China is back in the sixth-generation race with renewed confidence. Side-by-side -side seating on a stealth fighter isn't just a novelty, it's a statement. Unlike tandem cockpits seen on aircraft like the F-15EX or Su-30, this configuration allows for closer human collaboration in complex roles. One pilot could focus on flying and tactical awareness, while the other may handle drone coordination, electronic warfare, or sensor fusion. In sixth-generation air combat, speed and stealth are just part of the equation. Real-time decision-making, multitasking, and information dominance are now at the core of future conflicts. The J-36 design reflects this shift. It's not just a fighter, it's a command and control asset, a drone leader, and an electronic warfare platform all in one. With this dual crew setup, the J-36 is almost certainly designed to control loyal wingman drones during combat. This mirrors U.S. sixth-generation efforts under the NGAD program, which also emphasizes manned-unmanned teaming. The J-36 would act as the central node, issuing commands to drones operating ahead, flanking, or saturating the enemy's air defenses. These drones could perform a wide range of roles, from reconnaissance and electronic jamming to kinetic strike missions. The advantage is clear reduced risk to human pilots, and a major expansion of tactical reach. This system transforms the J-36 from a single platform into a networked strike formation. The large airframe, twin crew layout, and likely internal volume of the J-36 suggest it will carry a powerful suite of electronic warfare systems. Think of it as a stealthy airborne jammer, radar deceiver, and sensor fusion center all at once. China's investments in distributed aperture systems, infrared search and track, and quantum radar experiments are likely being incorporated here. These systems will allow the J-36 to locate enemy assets without being detected itself. In a contested environment, such capabilities can paralyze enemy communications, blind radar networks, and create tactical openings for broader strike packages. The aircraft is built to dominate not just the airspace, but the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Reports indicate that the J-36 will be capable of deep penetration missions at high supersonic speeds. This would position it as a strategic strike platform, akin to a stealthy version of the F-111 or Su-34, but with sixth generation enhancements. Internally housed long-range munitions, possibly including hypersonic cruise missiles or advanced standoff weapons, would allow it to strike hardened targets deep inside enemy territory. With its stealth profile and speed, it could enter denied airspace, complete its mission, and exit before enemy sensors even react. Whether targeting air bases, critical radar installations, or command centers, the J-36 is built for surgical, high-value missions. Even as a strike platform, the J-36 retains full air superiority capabilities. But unlike 4th and 5th generation fighters that rely on dogfighting or visual identification, the J-36 doesn't need to get anywhere near its target. Its detection range, drone support, and stealth profile mean it can eliminate threats from long range, before the enemy even knows it's there. 
The days of close-range air combat may be coming to an end, and platforms like the J-36 are leading that shift. It embodies the philosophy that future wars will be won by the side that sees first, processes faster, and strikes from beyond the horizon. One of the most remarkable interpretations by defense experts is that the J-36 could function as a stealthy AEW&C, airborne early warning and control platform. Traditionally, such roles have been handled by large, non-stealthy aircraft like the E-3 Sentry or KJ-2000. But in a high-threat environment, these platforms are vulnerable. The J-36, on the other hand, could use a distributed sensor network, linking with drones, satellites, and other stealth assets, to create a dynamic and survivable early warning system. In essence, the aircraft becomes a flying battlefield manager, guiding friendly forces while remaining undetected. This is a revolutionary concept, previously considered unlikely due to size constraints, but China may have found a way to make it operational through clever design and integration. It's important to highlight that this is the first time the J-36 has been seen after a prolonged absence from public view. The sudden appearance of this frontal image suggests that the aircraft has reached a new stage of maturity, perhaps ready for limited flight testing or evaluation. The timing may also be deliberate, aimed at signaling China's progress while others are still struggling with fifth-generation readiness. As China quietly advances its sixth-generation capabilities, most countries are still trying to modernize their fourth-generation fleets or procure fifth-generation jets like the F-35. In recent conflicts, we've seen fourth-gen aircraft being downed in contested zones, underscoring their vulnerability. Meanwhile, the U.S. NGAD program is still under wraps, and Europe's FCAS project is facing delays. In contrast, the J-36, whether still in prototype stage or early testing, shows that China is not only active in 6th gen R&D, but is taking bold steps towards operationalizing it. This could redefine regional power balances and challenge long-standing air superiority assumptions. The emergence of the J-36's frontal image isn't just a leak, it's a signal. It tells us that the sixth generation battlefield is already forming, and China is not just participating, it's potentially leading. With multi-role capability, advanced stealth, drone integration, electronic warfare tools, and strike power, the J-36 represents a new philosophy in air combat. It blurs the lines between fighter, bomber, command center, and AEW&C. And most importantly, it shows that the future of air warfare won't be fought at close range, but at the intersection of information, automation, and stealth. The J-36 may well be the aircraft that defines the next era of aerial dominance.